Okay, so here's how you're going to find your descriptive statistics using the Jamobi software, if this is the software that you're going with. You're going to want to make sure you're on this analysis tab. If you're on your variables tab, it'll look like this. If you're on your data tab, it'll look like this. You want to make sure you're over here on analyses. You're going to click this exploration button, which is kind of misleading because you would think if you were working with descriptives and frequencies, you would need to click frequencies, but you don't. You click on exploration. You're going to want to go over here to descriptives. Now, this, sorry, these are ones I've played with before. It sticks around. Here is where you select what variables you want your descriptives of. So, for example, if I wanted to know my mean, median, and standard deviation of my age, I would make sure age is highlighted, and I click this arrow, and it's basically saying the variables that are in this box are the variables that you're going to get your descriptives about. So you'll see that it automatically filled in this chart of the number of participants I had, how many were missing, what the mean age is, what the median age is, the standard deviation of the age, the minimum age, and the maximum age. Now I can adjust this by down clicking this arrow right here for statistics. And this is where I can tell it what all I would want. So if I wanted mode, I could add that in. If I didn't care about the median, I could take this away. I can tell it I also want to see the variance and the range and all other sorts of things. The other thing I can do from here is I can divide it into percentiles. So if, for example, I wanted to do a, a traditional grouping of the 25th, 50th, 75th percent, I would just click this and it would tell me what those values are. We're not working with that right now, though, but that's just that's a neat um, addition that Jamobi has to it. The other thing I can do from here is if you want a frequency table. Now, Jamobi will do frequency tables for anything that's a nominal or an ordinal variable. So in this data set, my ordinal variable is year because I asked them their year in school. I'd come over here to variables and I would tell it that I want my frequency tables. And there it's going to get me how many of each student identified within each of these levels. And it also gives me the percentage of the total that identified within these levels. The other thing to be aware of that Jamobi can do is you can split by your cases, which is similar to like the cross tabs function in SPSS. So if, for example, I wanted to know in this in this example data set, what I was asking the students was how old they were, how many hours they worked each week and what their stress level was. This is a hypothetical correlation that I use in one of my other classes and then what year in school they were. And again, this is all made up data. This isn't from any students here. But let's say that I wanted to maybe split student stress level. And again, you'll see here it automatically came in and filled this into my table. And this is what you'll be screenshotting for your assignment. But let's say um, I wanted to see what the stress level was based on what year the students were. I can put this in here and what it's going to do is it's going to divide out for me for this variable of stress level. What was the mean of the freshmen, the mean of the sophomores, the mean of the juniors, the mean of the seniors, the median of each, the standard deviation. And so if you have groups that you're wanting to explore more in depth of what were these differences, this is a helpful tool that you can use. And again, this is similar to what you'll see with the cross tabs function in SPSS, if that's a software you normally use. So that is a quick breakdown of how to find some basic descriptive statistics using Jamobi.